surround yourself with the right people and the power of community around you can change everything for you. Stay tuned. Awaken the leader inside. Follow the path of leadership. Never give up. Never stop trying. Get up. Believe in yourself. Not every day is going to be easy, but you've got to challenge yourself. You need courage. Be ready. Stop waiting for it to happen. Go make it happen. Harness the power within. You are destined to be a leader. Follow the path of leadership. Awaken the leader inside. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Dave Rubelkov and I'm your host here at Awaken the Leader Inside, show dedicated to your leadership journey. Remember, you are never alone. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode. So I want to share something with you because, you know, the last the last couple of weeks have been challenging for me. And, uh, you know, in the last episode, you, he- you heard that I've kind of hit a wall and I, I was kind of struggling with some things. But let me tell you something that I shared. I shared this on, an, on my, our family channel because I saw, so, I saw something so powerful that it reminded me of how, how amazing social media can be. And we've all seen the negative stuff, right? We've seen, um, you know, all the negative stuff around it, all the, all the trolls and different things that are going on. And this medium can be such a powerful tool. It can also be a demoralizing tool that people use to um, single out people, um, you know, and just, just make life miserable for people sometimes. But I want to share something that I, that I saw because it had such a profound effect on my own perception of social media and my own perception of, of that there's still good things out there. And I think that's important for everybody to know. Um, you know, I, I, I hope to believe that this podcast is something like that. It's it's an honest look at leadership. It's an honest look at my own leadership because when I'm sharing with you guys, I'm really talking about the stuff that I'm personally going through right now. So I, ho- I hope that helps and being transparent. But I saw something, you guys, in the, in the community of YouTube. And so if you're watching this on YouTube, I appreciate that. But, you know, we have another channel, uh, a family channel, and that's more with our family and fun videos and things like that, um, which has become a huge part of, of our lives in my life. I think most of the energy that we were putting into is into that project, um, which has which has honestly spawned from this podcast and it just kind of taught me things and taught me about YouTube and whatever and then we kind of went on a bigger scale in that uh, in that channel while we kept this one very simple very honest very direct but you know I saw something that changed my perception and um, you know I saw I saw a fellow youtuber his name is uh, Ken's vlogs and I'll put links in the description and all this stuff but I saw that he, he is battling cancer, and I and from what I understand, because I don't know him personally, I just kind of saw it, and I'll explain how I came to to find Ken's vlogs. Is he's battling cancer, and I believe it's the second time that he's been dealing with with battling cancer, and but what I saw kind of blew my mind, and so let me just set it up for you. You know, I love YouTube. If you guys, you know, don't uh, you know, you, there's always things to watch. There's always people to watch, and I always watch a couple of live streams. I, I enjoy watching it and enjoy interacting with the community and laughing and, and and sharing jokes and all this kind of stuff. And you feel like this is a real cool community. And YouTube is actually really like that if you're a content creator. So cool to see other creators. So cool to interact and share, you know, what we've learned and what we've, you know, what we've struggled with and all that. It's kind of like having, you know, close friends. You can talk about something that you have in common. So it's such a cool place. But I, I, I happened to go into this live stream and they were talking about it was really sad. I was like, what's going on? I could just tell immediately something was wrong. And, you know, the the creator was talking about Ken's vlogs and that he has, you know, cancer and this and that. I'm like, what am I? What's going on here? So, you know, it grabbed my attention and pulled me in. And then I was you know, just listening, I'm just like, man, you know, I got to do something. And so, you know, I went to the donation links and all that, you know, he has a family and they just got like evicted out of their home and all whatever, because the, the, uh, owner sold the house. So just like a, a, a lot of stuff happening at once and God, my heart went out to him. And so I was like, man, so I, you know, I went onto the link, donated all that stuff. Right. And not even 20 minutes later, same thing. I got onto another live stream and another, 
uh, YouTube uh, content creator was actually talking about that as well. I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. You know, so I, I engaged in that chat, got off that one, maybe like an hour later, I just decided, you know, because I was off this day and I decided to jump into another one, same exact thing, another one talking about, uh, you know, Ken's vlog and let's, can we donate and, and share the links? And I was absolutely stunned, absolutely stunned where here you have these content creators that, you know, I don't know if they knew each other. I don't know if they were in the same community. I don't know. But I saw a huge community come together, huge community come together for for a fellow YouTuber. And it, it kind of just blew my mind that that is the potential of social media that that, you know, we look at it for through different lenses and we look at it through a lens of, you know, just hanging out, talking with other people. We see the negative side, which is the ugly side of social media. And here I saw something so powerful that it, it affected me. Like it made me want to do something. It made me want to take action. And, you know, in my life, that doesn't happen very often. I'm very action orientated by myself. So when something strikes an emotion in me it makes me it prompts me to take action but it also taught me something in that moment it taught me that when you, when people come together to help each other there's nothing more powerful than this community there's nothing more powerful than the social media community to come together to help people and we've all seen it right we've seen you know things that have happened on on different platforms that people have come together and donate and all these powerful stories but they all get buried they get buried by all the negative stuff all the time and we're saturated with that on the news and on you know Facebook and all this other stuff but it taught me something so powerful about humanity and and I don't want to turn this episode into that but it's true like at the core of what we do at the core of you being a leader it's about making a difference it's about helping people it's about finding people you know that need help and and helping them become successful at whatever they're doing in in, in whatever aspect of their life their career whatever it's about helping people and i think i needed that i needed that so I'm a firm believer, guys, that things happen for a reason. Uh, paths open and close for a reason. Doors open and close for a reason. And I really feel like at that moment when that was happening to me, it was something that I needed to be you know, involved with. It was something that I needed to see. And for me, it just it helped me have, gain perspective on the things that we do in this life. You have one life, guys. You have one life to make a difference. You have one life to chase your dreams. Do whatever you need to do in your life. But you got to like you got to grab it by the horn, man. And you got to bring people up. Build people up. And I just I just needed to see that. And I encourage you guys, you know, I leave links and, you know, I encourage you guys to to help or donate, you know, to Ken's vlogs. But I want you to gain some perspective in this life. Things life is so short, guys. Life is so short. And at the turn of a turn of a dime, things can change. And I think what affected me the most is that my buddy lost his battle with cancer. I think he was only like 43, 42, 43, not much older than me now, you know. And uh, it's been about three years since I've lost my buddy Renee. And I have so many, so many regrets. So many things that I look back and like, man, I wish we would have spent more time together. Man, I wish we could have done different things, man. But you know what? You got to just kind of, you kind of got to, you have to find a way to do something constructive with what's happened to you in your life. And you've got to find a way to help others that are going and experiencing the same thing. That's what this podcast is about. It's about sharing the experience of what I'm going through so that hopefully it helps somebody else. So to witness something like that, like I urge you guys, you have a voice, you have the power to change people's lives, you have the power to be part of a community that can help send things in the right direction, to help others. And it, it prompted me to want to do more. It prompted me to want to figure out like, how do I get involved with some of these things? How do I, how do I do this? You know, cause I've never really experienced that before. How do I, how do I find some way to help other people? 
And so where I'm going with this episode, because we're going to we're going to end it soon, guys, is that there's going to be moments in your life. They're going to help open your eyes. There's going to be moments in your life where you're going to have an opportunity to help others. And I encourage you guys to do it because it's it's something it's something that's very hard to do when you're not used to doing it. I know that sounds extremely strange, but I will tell you I've wrestled with this because in my life I had to battle every inch to get to every inch of where I'm at in my life. And it was a battle. Nothing was handed. Nothing was given. Everything was a, a, a battle. So sometimes it was hard for me to want to give back to others, you know, whether it's donations or whatever, just because I've had to struggle, you know, a vast majority of my life to get to where I'm at. And so in that moment, I realized that that I, I don't want to be like that. I want to be able to help people as in any capacity, even if it's the last three dollars that I have, like that's that's okay. It's not gonna it's not gonna hurt <laughs> hurt me, but it can help somebody. So I hope that makes a difference, guys. I know I'm probably going on a rant right now and rambling or whatever, but I really I really want you to know that there's moments in life like that you gotta be open to. And I think as you struggle in your career and as you struggle in life, sometimes we we kind of put the blinders on others because we have our own set of problems and everybody does guys including myself like we all have problems we all have challenges but some people have life problems life changing problems that can definitely use the help from others and i hope you find it in your heart to do that for ken's vlogs and i hope that this gives you some perspective in life how short life is and how drastic life can change so don't waste any time. Don't waste any time, guys. Take action. Do you want to change careers? Change it. You want to, you know, chase, go back to school and chase another dream? Go go back and do it, man. Don't don't waste time. Don't look back and go like, man, I wish I could have. Don't do that. Go take action to find your dreams. Go take action to accomplish whatever you want in your life. Because you never know how short life is. You never know how crazy things can change in a heartbeat. So live to your fullest now, right? Live to your fullest now. And I hope this message resonates with somebody out there that you got to take action before it's too late. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. I appreciate it. Always remember to awaken the leader inside and please donate to Ken's vlog. The links are below. Until next time, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell on the top, right? Now it's time to get to work and let's make it happen.